UFC Fight Night, Barbosa versus Murphy. We got a shorter video this week. I'm just going to be going through the main card here of this weekend's event. Um, it's in the apex. Kind of underwhelming card. You know, nothing too crazy going on. Definitely some uh, interesting prospects. A few redemption arcs going on. So but we're going to go ahead and break this card down. Starting out with the first fight on the main card. It is Luana Pinheiro taking on Angela Hill. Uh... Angela Hill is coming off of an impressive win over Denise Gomes. Um, pretty much dominated that fight. She showed that, uh, you know, experience really is king when it comes to um, this game. You know, Luana is going to come in with a bit of a different skill set. Denise Gomes was more of a bruiser. Um, she's going in to take your head off. Pinheiro is probably going to look to grapple here, but Angela is a really tough person to take down and especially keep down. And this is on the fights. Um... I think Angela is going to be the far more productive striker here. She's going to be landing more. And, I, you know, she's not really going to land too much to uh, hurt Luana, but I think she's going to pretty much separate herself pretty quickly in this fight and win a unanimous decision. Next fight, it is Adrian Yanez taking on Vinicius Salvador. Both these guys are coming off of back-to-back -back losses. Here's where that redemption arc is coming in here. Um, Yanez was KO'd twice in a row. Of course, first versus Rob Font and then Jonathan Martinez most recently. So he's looking to get back in the win column uh, pretty desperately. I still believe in his ability. I mean, his boxing is legit. He's got great hands. Sure, Rob Font knocked him out. But, you know, I think Font has that potential to really hurt anyone he stands with. Um, landed a big shot that I think would put most guys out. Yanez is still super tough. Um, I think he's got a lot a lot of power in his hands, too. He's taking on a guy in Vinicius Salvador, who I honestly thought was going to be a problem in the flyweight division. Uh, I think that's a bit of the Shannon Ross effect taking place, uh, who he pretty brutally KO'd in the Contender Series, but he's gone on to do pretty much nothing at all. He gasses out quick. Um, maybe the move to Bantamweight will benefit him a little bit. He'll have a little bit more in the tank, not having to cut as much, but I wouldn't count on it. I think Yanez is going to be the bigger guy in there, definitely the more powerful guy, and uh, his hands are really going to separate him from Vinicius Salvador. I think Yanez finds a KO here. Next up, it is Temba Garimbo taking on Ramiz Brahmaj. Garimbo, uh, you know, definitely has become a bit of a darling in the MMA world, uh, due in large part to him meeting uh, The Rock. The Rock heard about his story. The guy is, you know, has a pretty inspirational story, kind of, you know, came to this country with pretty much nothing and has worked to, uh, you know, provide for his family, pretty much go from nothing to uh, really making something of himself in the UFC. And uh, he surprised me, you know, I thought it was a bit of, uh, I didn't know if I really believed in his ability as much as some of these other people were. I thought, you know, the, the story was the bigger part of him rather than his skill set and how talented he was. But, uh, you know, we ended up fading him in that fight versus Pete Rodriguez more recently. And he certainly shut me up, got a quick KO, um, showed a lot of power. He's really tall. For the division, um, which I think is going to make him a tough puzzle piece for guys to fight. We saw him have trouble like in his contender series fight where a guy takes him down and is able to keep him down and really just punish him. But I think he's worked a lot on that aspect of his game. Brian Maj, you know, I don't think he's some out of this world wrestler. Tom has got those long legs. It's not easy to take those guys down. I think he wins a decision here. Um, I think he fights off the takedowns and is the more active guy on the feet. But uh, this is definitely going to be a big test for Temba uh, if he's sort of addressed that hole in his game. Co-main event is a welterweight fight between Chaos Williams and Carlston Harris. Carlston has been the much better fighter uh, between these two as of late. Honestly, I kind of first heard of him in the lead up to that shop cop fight and you know, when Shavkat finished him in the first round, I think I, I definitely am guilty of writing him off a bit. But once you look at the bigger picture of his career as a whole, this guy has been super successful. He's 4-1 in his last five fights um, with a few finishes in there. 
the guy's tough. He can beat you in a multitude of ways. He can KO you. He can get the submission. And that Shavkat loss is his only loss in the UFC. Um, he's taking on Chaos Williams, who's had a bit of an up and down last few fights. Um, you know, we faded him in the Rolando Bedoya fight, a fight which I thought he clearly had lost. Um, but, you know, the guy just, I don't know if he's really been able to put it all together. The power is definitely there. Everyone knows it. Um, he's got legitimate, legitimately uh, destructive power in his hands, which, you know, sometimes that's all it takes. But Carlson Harris, I think, is the much more complete guy here. I think if he avoids the big shots, um, he's got way more ways to beat Chaos Williams than the other way around. I think Carlson Harris wins this one by submission. Uh, I think he's just going to be giving Chaos a lot of different looks. Um, and the guy's just relentless. So I believe that would be the first finish of the first time Chaos Williams has been finished. But it just feels like it's bound to happen. The guy's just, I think, not quite as put together as some of uh, that high-level competition at, in the welterweight division. And then finally, we have our main event. It's Edson Barbosa taking on Leon Murphy. Barbosa is 3-2 and two in his last five fights. Murphy's a perfect 5-0. and uh, This is going to be Murphy's first main event, so definitely something to look out for. Hasn't seen the five-rounder in the UFC yet. Um, he's a guy who, you know, he's had, had a lot of winning as of late. Um, never lost, actually. Uh, had a super close fight to Gabriel Santos. I thought he might have lost that fight. Um, and, you know, I think that was a fight where he was supposed to separate himself and he didn't quite do it. But in his next fight and his most recent fight versus Josh Kulabau, he certainly showed off uh, levels to his striking game. He hurt Kulabau a few times in that fight. Showed how, you know, he's incredibly explosive and I think he's really skilled as a striker. He's fast. He has a really good body kick that I think really can sap away at guys' gas tanks. But he's taking on Edson Barbosa here, who's, you know, he's been around the block. Barbosa has almost as many losses as Leroy Murphy has career fights. Um, but yeah, I mean, Barbosa is such a tough test. I think given his experience, that's going to be a huge leg up for him in this one. He's coming off of that fight versus Sadiq Yusuf, where he pretty much dominated uh, after you know surviving some adversity in the first round. Of course, Yusuf just went on and got dominated by Diego Lopez, but that guy's a monster in his own right. Uh, I expect a pretty much stand-up fight all the way through here. Uh, Barbosa was able to mix in the takedowns a bit in the latter portions of that Sadiq Yusuf fight, and I could definitely see him looking to implement that into his game here as well, especially later on into the fight when, you know, I think he's going to drag Leroy Murphy into deep waters and he's going to be, you know, the much more aware, the much more, uh, I don't know what the word is. I, I just think he's going to be more put together in the, the latter part of the fight than Leroy Murphy, a guy who's never really been there before. Should be super uh, interesting. I mean, we've seen some of these veterans in the UFC lately just absolutely feels like they're on another level. Jose Aldo, of course, most recently in UFC 301, he turned back the clock many years. Honestly, I don't know if I've ever looked, seen him look that good. Um, you know, something in the waters down there, th those guys are looking fantastic as of late. So I think I'm siding with Barbosa's uh, experience here. I think he wins a decision. Should be a fantastic fight. Lerone is definitely a guy who, you know, the, the UFC wants to prop up. They're always looking for more English stars, but I don't know if it's quite his time yet, and this feels like a tough matchup for him. So Bar Barbosa's decision is the pick, and with that, that's the breakdown. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.